Welcome to WP EasyCart. In this video tutorial we're going to walk through how to create categories of products, uh, groupings. Uh, that's one of the first steps that a lot of people like to do with their store uh, is to start organizing products into groups. Uh, a lot of times people only have you know maybe a dozen products so they're okay with just a standard store page like this and just simply showing all their products. Uh, but if you have a couple hundred products or you'd like to set them up in groups, uh, we can certainly do that and it's very easy. Uh, so let's take a look. We've got, again, our basic store data here. It's just a demo data installed. And to start with categories, uh, the best way is to jump over here to the left menu under products. And I'll click on categories. And categories can be anything and they don't have to display on your site either uh, for example you can use them for displaying but you might also use them for promotions or coupons they're just a way to group things together and so for example I have uh, categories here for sale items for specials for new products uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one here and I'm gonna call this women's clothing and you can give it a priority. Some of this information isn't necessarily needed unless you start to uh, tier your uh, your your categories, or if you like to push one ahead of another uh, when you display them. Uh, you can also have parent categories. For example, women's clothing might exist underneath, or maybe you start to do, for example, women's T-shirts, women's pants, women's shoes you could put them as ch child categories under women's clothing. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as is. I'm just going to type in women's clothing. Um, I can have descriptions and there's a bunch of other features here. Uh, we also have a slider here as to whether or not this is a featured category. And what that means is if you want to have categories appear back here in your store above your products, you can have them as featured categories. So I'll go ahead and turn it on um, and we can take a look at some of those elements here in a little bit. So I've created a category women's clothing. You can see now it has zero products in it and it is a featured category. Now you can edit the products uh, categories products here or by using this little icon. And so right now you can see we we're managing women's clothing but we have no products underneath it okay so what we want to do is start adding new products so I'm gonna go add new and I get a list of all my products you can search for products uh, so on and so forth so I'm gonna highlight all my products maybe you have a couple that don't belong here you can go through and deselect them so on and so forth Okay, and once I do, I'm going to add those to the category. So now my category for women's clothing has all these products. I can always go back to my categories and we can see here that I have 10 products inside of that. Now, just because we created the grouping doesn't mean it's going to show on our site. I can refresh here and you can see there's nothing. So maybe I want to have my online store, but maybe a drop-down menu underneath it. And I want to have a list of all my different categories. So to do that, you will typically go to your appearance menus. And this is where you have your, your main menu. You can adjust these. I'm going to go ahead and adjust a couple of these so they read a little better. Just call this My Account. And we'll call this one shopping cart okay but I do not have a, uh, a category under here so what we can do is come over here to the left under store items and this contains all of your individual products categories menus anything in in easy cart is going to be found under the store items okay including I can see right here women's clothing so I'm going to go ahead and add that to the menu. And you can move that around. I'm going to put it underneath the shop online feature here. I'm going to save my menu. I'm 
I jump back to my store and refresh it and you can see I've got my account shopping cart and if I come under online shop I now have women's clothing and if I click on it it gives me just the ones that are in that uh, category so it's very easy to do you also now have a URL just for that category a lot of people use this URL and create custom banners they create um, advertising uh, they post on social media that they want to have people go directly to a group or a category uh, and that's what makes these really flexible and, and useful so again to create product categories you come underneath uh, categories on the left and that's how you could attach them there now let's go ahead and edit a product there is also the categories section underneath your product and that's where you can see that you have this product is in sales it's also in the new category and it's in the women's clothing so you can also attach a product to an existing category through this section as well uh, it's a little more flexible if you go to the actual categories on the left menu and start to create those now if you did want to create a sub category you certainly could I could go add new I'm gonna say this is women's shirts and it could be a parent category of women's clothing so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and I might want to go ahead and edit the products now add new and I can say I want just a few of the shirts and I'll go ahead and add these to the category so now I've got four products there and I could come back to my menus in WordPress and I'll go ahead and go to store items add women's shirts and maybe I'll make that a sub sub menu under clothing okay so now I've got women's clothing Maybe I didn't save that. Yeah, let me go back here to my home. There it is. It's coming out to the left, but that's okay. So if I hover over that, I've got underneath women's clothing, I've got women's shirts, and it shows me just these four products. Okay, makes you makes a nice way for you to organize. You can also see when you go to a product that you can see what categories it exists. And these are just quick links for customers. They might see that it's, hey, this is in women's clothing. They can jump to that category as well directly from a product. So there's a few options that uh, users have to do uh, with that. This menu, of course, you can see it flying out to the left. That just depends on your, your theme and how they have it set up. But in general um, your menus you know maybe you don't want it as a sub menu you can drag it there we go it's being a little sticky I'll make it just the same same level as this one so now I've got a couple categories so menus are really flexible or I mean uh, pro uh, categories are very flexible uh, I encourage you to go to the left menu here and now we're going to take a look at how to do some basic customization with your site uh, in our next video. Thanks.